The film begins with a narration that explains the three Olympians who battled the Titans long ago, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Hades provided a means of defeating the Titans with his creation, the Kraken. Zeus created humans and ruled them while Poseidon ruled the sea, but Hades, having been deceived by his brother Zeus, was forced to rule the underworld. A fisherman named Spyros finds a coffin adrift in the sea, discovering a baby Perseus and his dead mother Danae inside. Years later, Perseus and his family are fishing when they witness a group of soldiers from Argos destroying a statue of Zeus as a declaration of war against the gods. Hades appears and commands harpies to massacre the soldiers before he himself destroys Perseus' family's fishing boat. During a feast for returning soldiers, King Cepheus and Queen Sophia of Argos compare themselves and their daughter Andromeda to the gods to much of the daughter's dismay. Hades appears in a courtroom before killing the remaining soldiers while Perseus is unaffected. Revealing Perseus to be the demigod son of Zeus and aging King Sophia to death, Hades threatens that if Princess Andromeda is not sacrificed to the Kraken, Argos will be destroyed in 10 days. Perseus initially refuses until he meets Lo, a woman who does not age as punishment for refusing to be seduced by a Hades god. Hades enlists Arcasus, now called Celebos, to kill off Perseus by imbuing him with superhuman powers. Perseus encounters Zeus, sacred herd of flying horses, the Pegasus. Celebus blood forms giant scorpions from the sand that attack Perseus and his group. To slay several scorpions, most of the group are slain and the survivors are surrounded by more of the monsters. They are saved by the Dijin, a band of desert sorcerers once human but have replaced their earthly flesh with ash and dark magic. The heroes arrive at Guarding of Stygia, learning from the Stygian witches that the head of the Gorgon Medusa could kill the Kraken, but that Perseus and his group would die in the process. After leaving the witches with the hunters taking their leave, Perseus is visited by the Zeus who offers him Isolum on Mount Olympus, but he refuses. Zeus gives him instead a golden rachma, which Perseus later learns is a means to bribe Chiron for passage into the underworld. Perseus remaining soldiers fight hard to stay alive, turning to stone one by one by her gaze. But with Salaman self-destructing himself and Draco's sacrifice, Perseus manages to behead Medusa. Perseus stays with the dying low until she passes on, then rides Pegasus back to Argus with Medusa's head to find some of Argus citizens have formed a cult of Hades and are planning to sacrifice Andromeda to the Kraken against the king's wishes. Perseus returns to Argus, but Hades sends his harpies to stop him. Perseus defeats the creature sent by Hades and uses the head of Medusa to turn the Kraken into stone as Cepheus is killed by the cult leader, who is then crushed under the shattering Kraken. After saving Argus from destruction, Andromeda suggests that Perseus become king and rule Argus at her side, but he declines. Zeus appears before Perseus again and offers to make him a god, but for a second time he refuses. Since Perseus is intent to stay on Earth, Zeus resurrects Lo and the two embrace while Pegasus flies above them. This is a review from Clash of the Titans.